All right, so we talked about um, using elimination, and elimination is very helpful when we have coefficients of the same variable are exactly the same. Now, when they're exactly the same with exactly the same sign, meaning both positive or both negative, we like to subtract the equations. If we have the same coefficient, so a here, I both have a 3, but one is positive and one is negative. So when we have a system that includes this, uh, this example, one being the same value but one positive, one negative, then what we're going to want to do is add the two equations. And by adding the two equations, we're now going to eliminate the variable. And let's see how. Well, 3a plus a negative 3a is 0a. Therefore, now I have eliminated eliminated my variable a. 4a plus a negative 2, I'm sorry, 4b plus negative 2b is going to be 2b, and 9 plus negative 3 equals 6. Now, to solve for b, I divide by 2, and I get b equals 3. Now, the thing that I liked about substitution is we have one variable solved for uh, one variable already solved, so it's easy to plug in and find what the other value of the variable is. Well, here, I don't really have that luxury. I have two now equations. I now know the value of b. By eliminating my variable a, I could solve for b. But now, to find the value of b, I just need to plug it into either one of the equations. And it does not matter which equation I plug it into. So I'm going to show you again how it does not matter, because this one looks like it, it might be a little bit more work and not maybe as, ev um, as evident right off the bat that you're going to get the same value for a as long as you're plugging in the value of b. Because remember, our solution to our system, our a and our b have to be true for both equations. So therefore, I have 3a plus 12 equals 9. Here I have negative 3a minus 6 equals negative 3. Well, I'll add 6 here. So I have negative 3a equals 3. Divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3. a equals negative 1. Over here, I'll subtract 12. 3a equals negative 3, divide by 3, divide by 3, a equals negative 1. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that when a equals negative 1 and b equals 3, my system of equate, or that is going to be the solution of my system of equations. Also, that will be, if we were to graph these, that's going to be where our intersect point is of these two equations if we wanted to graph these on an a and b axis. Um, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that's our intersection point, also known as our solution. Thanks.